Hello viewers, SuperGT here. Welcome to some gameplay of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, which is coming out very soon. So I was lucky enough to be able to play the game early. Thank you very much to Activision for inviting me to the event. So let's take a look. How does it feel? What does it look like? Uh, is it different from the main game? If you do have any questions, then please do comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So to begin with, I didn't really move at all. Now, uh, it was actually quite weird getting used to the button scheme once again because uh, it's X to accelerate, square to break, and it's been a long time since I've had to use buttons instead of the triggers to accelerate and break. But there you go, that's why, that's why I didn't really move. But um, once I got used to it again, this was my very first race. So once I got used to it again, it actually came back really quite quickly. And the main reason really for that is that the, the physics and the buttons and the, just the way it feels is pretty much exactly the same as it was. So there's you know there's no real difference. They haven't tried to change the game. It really is, in many sense, just a remaster. Um, so the physics, the way it feels, the buttons, all very similar. So you notice there the, the drifting and uh, the boosting mechanism. So if you're familiar with that from the old game, you'll be able, you'll be able to pick it up quite quickly. Um, once you play this one. So we're going to go through a load of different characters and four different circuits. We couldn't do all of the tracks but um, I'll show you four different ones over the course of this video. This is of course Sewer Speedway. I think this is one of the first tracks you normally come to in the game. Uh, the character here, Ripperoo, and of course was just using Crash Bandicoot, obviously, if you don't know that. What are you even doing here? But yeah, you can see there um, the cart is different as well, so you can change the carts. Um, there's plenty of customization options. I couldn't see all of them in this gameplay, uh, in this session that I was playing. Um, I could choose a couple of different carts, like five different ones, but I couldn't choose like loads of customization options. That wasn't a thing in uh, this little version of the game that we had here. But it was, um, it was really good fun, I would say that. So for those wondering, it is... Uh, it's just an online ra well, it's not online, it's a LAN race, should we say, so there's, there's like seven of us all connected up together, we're all playing against each other. So I did meet a couple of other YouTubers, uh, Tia McMarduk was there, Bruffy1322 as well, so it's good to see these guys. So where are we now, coming up towards lap three, so there's always three lap races, uh, so quite quick, quite sharp, you have to be on it straight away, and uh, that crocodile looks on never really noticed that crocodile before but um, you would notice things a little bit more uh, a little bit more now because of the enhanced graphics of course so the game does look really different and in this presentation they showed us showed you uh, showed us the difference between the old game and this one and put like the same thing side by side and look and um, showed us how different it was and it really is a lot better now compared to how it was let's not forget the crafting racing came out in the 90s so it's pretty much 20 years old now. Uh, but yeah, this look, this game looks really nice. Yeah, they've done it really nicely as I smash into that uh, little uh, wall at the end there. But we are going to come through to win this race. Ripper Rue is actually really good. Really good uh, turning ability he has. So thank you for that, mate. Taking our first win of our Crash Team Racing career mode. Um, so yeah, you get this little final end race screen. We're going to go to Papu's Pyramid this time around. Now everyone will be very familiar with this circuit. I think this is a, a really rather legendary track. So I'm going to go with the Polar Bear this time around. I don't know how that guy's boosting on the right hand side. But of course at the start you just uh, rev up your engine just before the light. And then you can get a boost off of the line. Now I was wondering if that's actually the best strategy because... If you do, you get ahead and then some people, or everyone will get a power up behind you and then just shoot you. So maybe it's not always the best idea. But um, I tried to get an, the early breakaway here, get the whole shot in lap one, avoiding those bloody plants. And there is a little shortcut there, but I'm um, just trying to play it safe at the moment. It's all about making those right decisions, of course, in, in any form of motorsport. And this is very much a form of motorsport. In fact, this is the pinnacle of motorsport as I get smashed off side very frustrating it really reminds me just how frustrating it is to get hit by power-ups every two seconds it is actually really annoying but uh, it's actually it's really good fun when you when you hit someone else let me put it that way 
so you just got to really try to avoid it as much as you can. And coming up this uphill section here, really difficult to get it right and get all the boost. Um, so really just trying to get as much boost uh, sliding as well, as much of that as possible. But it's really difficult through that little section. So the characters do have sort of different stats as that guy gets eaten by a plant quite viciously. Um, here's that little shortcut. So the characters have different stats in terms of acceleration, top speed and turning ability. So you do kind of want to take that into consideration depending on the track. You've got like a load of tight corners. So maybe someone like Ripperoo had really good handling so he'd do well around here because it's quite a lot of tight, fairly tight corners. As once again, gets smashed off the track. Once you're in the lead, that's not a good position to be in often because all the big orb power-ups come after you. It can be uh, very, very frustrating, as it was in this uh, race here. Although still in the lead, I'm just looking at the map. Where am I? There's a couple of guys right. Actually, no, they're a little bit behind. Just avoiding that plant and that TNT. I'm not going to go over that shortcut. Playing it nice and safe, making the right decisions. So, in terms of the online gameplay, um, so this is the multiplayer race, like a LAN event, but there is an online mode. So this is something that wasn't in the original game, of course. But um, there will be an online mode. There will be leaderboards as well. So you've had to just sort of do time trial, which is pretty cool. Uh, so there's uh, there's a couple of little additions uh, compared to the old game. Just not exactly as it was. And look at this, right? These plants have got some extra long reach because I just touched the branch or the root. And the bloody, the bloody thing got me. So you've got to be very, very careful there. Otherwise, you'll get sent to the Shadow Realm by these plants. All of the tracks from the original game will come back. Um, and all the tracks from Nitro Kart plus Crash Tag Team Racing will be in this game. So it's not simply a remaster of the old game. There is a lot more than that. It's almost a remaster of three games, if you like. Plus online, plus leaderboards. So it's quite a lot of uh, new stuff. It's quite a, a lot of... Uh, things in the game if you like so the next track here uh, Electron Avenue I, if I'm honest I don't remember this one this might be from Nitro Fueled or Crash Tag Team Racing which I've never played I, although I can't I, I can't remember this one from the original game if I'm completely honest but um, yeah this is one of the tracks we, we could play so we could play four different ones uh, the other one was um, Clockwork Wumper, which we'll get onto in just a moment and I've gone for Komodo Joe, is it, I think, uh, for this one. So what I would say, yeah, it was really fun playing this, really good. Um, I'll definitely be um, getting it when it comes out. Maybe do a couple of live streams, um, a couple of videos, a couple of multiplayer videos, a couple of cheating scum multiplayer videos, <laughs> uh, something on, along those lines. But yeah, it's all good fun. And um Really, I really enjoyed the experience actually of playing this. Uh, it's actually a really good blast from the past as uh, we fall off once again. Uh, very annoying when that happens. So again, um, I'm going to shut up in a moment so let you just enjoy the sound of the game. Um, if you have any questions, just do comment them and I can try to get back to you. There is some things I've seen I can't say, but um, anything that I can say I will answer you. And getting hit by that clock thing was really annoying. Someone had like eight of them in a row on one of the races. And it's just the most annoying thing ever. And yeah, we, we'll move on from that. Um, this track was actually pretty cool. The graphics again, really, really good. Uh, compared to, especially compared to the old one. I mean, the old one's like, when you look at, back at them now, it's like three pixels on the screen. This one, a little bit more detail. But then again, it was on the PlayStation 1 back then, so we can forgive it. So again, thank you for watching. If you do, did enjoy, maybe hit the like button and subscribe for more, as there will be footage or there will be more of this game when it comes out, of course. But yeah, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts, let me know your questions, and I'll leave you with the gameplay. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.